This is Hector from International MMA Channel here to break down UFC 189. This is the rant. The rant will begin with the new look and production value of the UFC 189 was totally completely different from any other UFC uh, fight we have seen. Pa new panels, new look, new music, no more that heavy metal. They kind of dubstepped it. It looks and feels very well made and professional. It has this almost beat by Dre signing where it's super bassy and super loud the entire time not a bad thing the imagery is good there's holograms now on the ufc um uh, on the mat when before the main events happen that show the upcoming fights are uh the co-main and the main event uh spectacular holograms there was the uh live performances from shade o'connor and as well as aaron lewis those kind of things were kind of misses for me, but an overall the whole package deal of the UFC 189 was very sharp, very clean, and very professional. So I give them a thumbs up for that. Selective sponsorship. Now, if you watch this UFC, there is no more sponsors on apparels for the fighters when they come in. All they have is the Reebok deal, and that's it. But if you noticed Robbie Law, if you, I'm sorry, if you missed Roy McDonald's as well as Conor McGregor's, there's a little monster emblem on them. So they have more of a package deal with Reebok. And so they get to put the sponsor and the sponsor is selected by the UFC. And that is Monster Energy Drink. That's kind of bad, but here's what I have that is so negative about it. You have this new production, super clean. The fighters come out. I actually like the uniform look to it i like that there's no sponsors you know and it is taken away from the fighters but it does make it look more professional that being said the octagon should be the same way as well the octagon looks hideous compared to everything else they have marketing advertising for everything but light they have i think core nuts they have the meat the the central one as well it has sponsorships everywhere if you're going to go for a clean look and you're going for the for the apparel for the fighters not to have sponsorship the octagon should be clean as well and it would make it look way better so now that they have selective uh people i am assuming that in the future once they have an exclusive deal with reebok they're going to be able to put their sponsorships such as energy monster drinks probably corn nuts or whoever else is uh with the ufc Before we talk about fight of the night, I want to go ahead and break down the Conor hype. The fight, the main event was Conor McGregor versus Chad Mendes, and it delivered, but not delivered in a way if you saw the co-main event. Uh, and it did not answer a lot of questions either. A lot of people have gotten onto this Conor hype train, and because he was able to knock out Chad Mendes in the second round, everybody's believing this hype. But in fact, we have to come to a realization that this fight did not actually answer any questions. The fight about a wrestler, because with Chad Mendes, um, a lot of his takedowns were success successful, and the only time that it wasn't is when he was attempting and he got caught. But this really doesn't bring anything to us about is the Conor hype real or anything else. Chad Mendes got caught. The wrestling is an issue for Conor McGregor because he was taken down and he was taken down successfully a couple times. So it didn't really answer any of that questions. Is the Aldo fight going to be better? Absolutely. Chad Mendes went out there and did his best. And Conor McGregor won fairly and squarely. And, and it was an entertaining fight. So for everybody to say, oh, Conor McGregor is the real true deal. It doesn't answer the question about his wrestling. It still leaves a lot of questions about him fighting other top contenders. Uh, just remember that Chad Mendes has only lost twice, and that was to the champion, and now to Conor McGregor. So we want, I would like to see a lot more from Conor McGregor. Saying that about Conor McGregor, I fucking hate the backlash on Chad Mendes. Everybody who was a Chad Mendes fan all, all of a sudden jumped onto the Conor McGregor bandwagon as soon as he got knocked out. I think that Chad Mendes is one of the best fighters in that weight division. 
And I think that Chad Mendes got sloppy. And I think a lot of it was a lot of head game. Because if you see the fight, Conor McGregor is talking to him the entire fight. And I think it was that attitude and that that he did not stick to his game plan. Went out for another submission, uh, another takedown before the bell even rang and got knocked out. Uh, a lot of people say a lot of horrible shit about Chad Mendes, but the truth is that he is the best fighter. And it's one of these kind of these kind of people that will end up talking all this shit, but if you ever meet him in real life, they'll stay silent. Because it's always easier, and I always see like fighters like him or Cody Gibson, that people seem to just look at them and they really feel like they're not a threat. But these are professional athletes, and at any time... They are the serious threat. There is a reason that Chad Mendes is the number two and still is the number three ranked in the world. Fight of the night was absolutely Robbie Lawler versus uh, Roy McDonald. This was probably fight of the year, fight of the decade, fight best fight ever. Uh, two guys went out swinging and surprisingly, Roy McDonald was winning this fight slightly. It's kind of like you can give it 2-2. Two, two. The first round was really iffy of who to even give it to. But Roy McDonald was finishing a lot quicker. But the thing about Robbie Lawler is he's like a professional striker. Everybody talks about Conor McGregor striking. But nobody even talks about Robbie Lawler striking. And what he did to Roy McDonald, he broke an opponent down. He smashed his nose where he couldn't even go. It wasn't like a knockout. It was a verbal knockout. He could not want he didn't he couldn't go on he did not want to participate anymore after he got hit in the nose fight of the night if you haven't seen it, it's one of the most spectacular uh fights you'll ever see but as well as if you see the first round you're like you're gonna say what the hell is Hector talking about this fight is garbage until the second round uh a lot of feeling out in the first round but it lives up to the hype, and it lived up to the hype of the Conor McGregor fight that I was looking forward. Robbie Lawler and Roy McDonald stole the uh, stole that fight, as well as um, Almeida stole that one, and you know uh, Matt Brown. So, yeah, fight of the night, fight of the century, is gonna go out to Robbie Lawler versus Roy McDonald, and I hope they do it again. This is my final conclusion and fight conclusion. With Jose Aldo now going to fight, uh, going to fight Conor McGregor, it only makes sense that Frankie Edgar gets a shot at Chad Mendes and bring Ricardo Lavis. Why not make a whole tournament style about this UFC event? I mean, Frankie Edgar, I think, has got the shed into the stick of the deal with this. But I think the Chad Mendes and Frankie Edgar fight would be a fun fight to put as a co-main event with the Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor fight. As well as Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler, there's a lot of questions of who he can fight. To me, it could either go Tyrone Woodley or Carlos Condit. And the reason I say Carlos Condit is he came back after surgery and just destroyed um, He destroyed his opponent. And, and who doesn't want a stand-up fight like a Carlos Condit versus a Robbie Lawler? To me, that fight makes more sense. Then the Conor McGregor versus the Jose Aldo, who are Conor McGregor was ranked number seven. Carlos Condit is ranked number five in the welterweight division. So I think the best fight and probably the fight of the year would be Robbie Lawler versus Carlos Condit. Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor is going to be an exciting fight. Like I said, I'm not, I don't work for the USC, but why not Chad Mendes versus Frankie Edgar on that co-main event? If you like our videos, go ahead and follow us. Thank you so much. And this is my rant.